Endorsed by Chris. Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. This is the live Endorsed by Chris feature with none other than Corey Bennett. So, let's get started, Corey. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, Corey K. Bennett. Some people may have known me as Cameron Bennett um, in recent years, um, but it's all still the same person. I am 27 years old. Um, my occupation is a creative connector. Nice, okay, okay. So, ex use. explain that to us. Um, because I've done, I've had been afforded the opportunity to do so much, um, my roles have constantly changed. If you knew me full time, you may say I've worked with students or I've been in a high school setting at West Charlotte High School doing college access. Do right, do C plug, you know. <laughs> so we've been doing that for um, about four or five years now. Okay. And that's a part of me kind of giving back to the same organization that I was afforded the opportunity to be a part of. Um, and then in turn, they gave me a position to do the same thing for students. So nice. that's been my chance to kind of give back to my community and to the school system that raised me and to forward college access. Nice. But in addition to that, you know, us just being creative people, us being, you know, millennials, we go through things and we figure out these different roles that we want to play. And I kind of came up, well, I didn't kind of come up, I literally came up with a consulting idea, okay. um, which is exchange. Okay. So exchange NC. Um, LLC for state purposes and things of that nature. <laughs> it's yeah, <laughs> official. We pay, we paid the taxes and the tag on it. Um, but it's a it's a creative space. Mm -hmm. um, I really didn't want to use the word consulting, but there isn't many more encompassing terms that you can kind of use for mm -hmm. that. Um, so consulting is where we landed okay. with it. But it's a hub really for all types of creative spaces, partnerships, opportunities, organizations, and partnerships. Nice. All right, so how did you come up with the name Exchange? My student. Okay. One of my students helped me come up with the name. So we were in the office mapping around, and I was telling them I'm getting ready to go to Virginia and do a little contract that I got. And we started talking. She's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to be doing workshops and facilitation. It's kind of how we do our sessions after school and during school sometimes. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, you get paid for that? I was like, yeah, it's, it's something separate that I worked out with a community college. And um, she was like, so what are you going to call it? Right. And I said, well, the name of the session is called The Manual. She said, no, what's the name of like your business? And I was like, I don't have a business, it's just me. She's like, why? You know, now this is a 17 year old student, you know, asking me these questions and she doesn't know anything about it firsthand on her own business, but she came up and said, you know, you really just put a name with it, even if you don't officially have the business right, yet. Right. So we started talking and mapping things out and um, I realized she was another generation talking to me. Um, technically her generation is Y and mine is X. Mm -hmm. And even with us talking, I kind of wanted to always be kind of true to who my generation was and the right. people that we're connected with and know in our age group. Mm -hmm. So I came up with the X. Then I started thinking mm -hmm. X factor, X anything or mm -hmm. X term. And finally, I was like, every job I've done with has been about change, whether that's like changing students' behavior, my own behavior. Oh, so I put two and two together, and that's how we got exchanged. That's pretty cool. Um, and the idea behind it is that through an exchange of conversation, ideas, partnerships, the most creative and the most original things can be developed. So That's cool. What are some things that Exchange is currently working on? Right now, um, we've been blessed to start a launch of sort of a fashion piece. Um, I am not as well versed in a fashion <laughs> person um, you like well. you, you uh -huh, know, yeah, yeah. but I will say I wanted to put something out there, especially when the Summer Olympics kicked off, um, Rio, things of that nature. There was this not a newfound term, but there is a term um, that was developed called Black Girl Magic. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people really started getting into it, like melanated and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. So I wanted to put something out just for queens. Okay. Um, and that does not mean that you had to be black in order to be a queen, but okay. specifically something for women. Okay. Um, so the idea of queendom, and I started looking around at all these different things, and I started seeing the crowns and the things that people were wearing and the Instagram posts and the memes. And I was just like, for years, I've been saying if somebody does something and it's good, and I like it, I'm like, keep doing your thing. Mm -hmm. So, just wrap, my, mapping things out, writing it down. I came up with "Do Your Thing, Queen," and it's pretty much like a validated statement as me as a man saying to every woman doing something in whatever lane that you're in, "Do your thing, Queen." Nice. Um, but the idea is that when another queen sees the person wearing it, mm -hmm. there's a reflective material that mm -hmm. I used on purpose. Um, I wanted every woman to see and read that title to see themselves as a queen as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just oh, you them. never told me that. That's right, right. Cool. You did the whole shoot. Yeah, That's you did the nice. whole shoot. So the reflective material is not to make it just pop. Right. You know what I mean? Um, with the black and the gold or anything like that. It was more so a reflection thing. I wanted somebody to read it, not only say, "I want that shirt," like I could wear that mm -hmm. shirt, but to feel like they're a queen, not only the person wearing it. So 
That's that, so sweet. That's what we got okay. on that end All with right. the fashion. Um, with the consultant, we got a few partnerships. We got some things in Atlanta and Virginia that we're working with. Okay. Um, more creative hubs, so people in fashion and food, trying okay. to tie those things in as of recent. Um, I still have my community college and my connections with education, trying to make sure um, men, as I previously mentioned, the manual mm -hmm. is uh, my own curriculum that I kind of came up with that is sort of like a playbook on life for men. Okay. Um, and I specifically made it for men in college because we're few and far, mm -hmm. and we're getting less and less, mm -hmm. and especially black males. Right. So there's these um, small groups that I've you know met over a period of time at community college that are small groups of young African American men, maybe not just fraternities, but clubs, organizations, or just friends. Right. And they come together and trying to do community service, trying to get their name out there, trying to build a brand. So I come as not only to consult their next move, but mm -hmm. to kind of give them a play by play mm -hmm. um, of how to kind of navigate and move through this system, through college and beyond. Where would you like to see exchange grow within the next five years? The next five years, I would like for us to have a significant following in Charlotte. I would okay. love to be plugged into some staple, out of the box things. I'm all for first time. Mm -hmm. um, as much as I would want us to have stable things, the other part of me leans towards the new. Okay. Um, so when somebody comes to me with this idea that they just don't know how to necessarily wrap their heads around, right. that's where our whole interaction starts. And I tell people like, I don't have a consultant fee. Normally when you just sit down with me for the first time, um, a lot of consultants will say, here's $50, $25. I know someone that does only FaceTime calls for $100. Wow. To get them on the line is $100. Wow. And this is why I steered so far away from consulting because I didn't want a price tag is attached to my advice. Right. If my advice doesn't yield you anything, I've done nothing but take your money. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'd rather sit down and have a conversation with you to see if that idea is something I can really rock with. Okay. If it's something I can really forward and I have some plugs or some connections to it to mm -hmm. make you feel like you're catching traction, then cool, we have a partnership there long standing. Okay. But if you just come in with an idea for a music inspired pet clinic, Mm -hmm. I know music. That is so random. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know music. <laughs> I like pets. Okay. I don't know how to mess the two together. Okay. But what I can tell you is if you want to get a nonprofit or you want to get your business status, I can gladly help you find the documents to pull that. Mm. But I can't forward the motion. Like, I can't help you write your mission and vision because right. I don't have a body into it. Mm -hmm. So I, that's that's what I tell anybody before I sit down. Before we do our non disclosure statements, that and the third, I say, let me just hear your idea. Okay. Um, to know if it's something I can even forward because if I can give you a better person, I'm going to pass you along. That's good, you know? and that 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 speaks a lot because you know I feel like this generation a lot of times people are more so about money instead of really trying to like build that connection right. and really help. All right, so for people who um, may be interested in becoming a consultant, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them on how to start up? Um, if I was speaking with them, I'd ask them why. Okay. The first question. Um, why do they want to do it and what do they feel validates them okay. to do it? Um, you could have all the connections in the world. I think I have a very strong, good network in Charlotte, you but honestly, everyone. yeah, but, <laughs> but honestly, it's in Charlotte, okay. um, which is why I focused a lot on Virginia, Atlanta, way out Chicago, even got somebody in Texas. Okay. Like, I kind of want to go away and bring back that credit to not only have a good stores here, but that when I step up and do something, people are like, you've been working like mm -hmm. there's proven work whether mm -hmm. that's social media or um, just my connections or the way that I just learned to do business mm -hmm. um, kind of not having those homegrown relationships forces you to step up that kind of professional side so I asked why um, at first and then my advice is to make it official there are literally thousands of names every day being um, paid for and licensed whether that's a limited liability company sole proprietorship whatever People are literally putting these things into place. So if you have a good idea, mm -hmm. put it on paper. Don't wait Quick. On it. Yeah. And you can change it. You can mm -hmm. go back. Um, you can make it what it was. And that's why I put consulting with exchange because I knew what I wanted it to do and what we would and would not entangle with. But mm -hmm. I had to get exchange out there to put it in place because it also makes you realize that once it's down on paper, this is a real thing. True. Sure. And, you know, it's a little bit more passion. Yeah. And, you know, in starting anything, yeah. your own brain is like, when I start seeing logos and I start getting mm -hmm. this and I write it makes a it vision, official. it makes it official. <laughs> and you start seeing that mission and vision over and over in your head. Mm -hmm. You start seeing your logo. You start feeling proud when you can hand people a That's card. True. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it just it inspires you to actually do the work that's mm -hmm. required for the title. So versus just becoming a consultant, 
I first tell them to consult themselves. Okay. You know, um, and just figure out really where you want your loyalty to lie with whatever you do um, and where your validation kind of come in. How can you use that? Now we're going to go to my favorite part, talking about fashion. So, Corey, tell us, like, how would you describe your personal style? My personal style is always, always, always comfort. Okay. Um, the doesn't matter what I have um, on, I'm looking at how textures feel, how they're gonna wash and keep up, mm -hmm. um, just as a small kind of thing I told you about <laughs> it. I have not purchased any clothes, shoes, or anything since last April. Um, I'm trying to do it for a year, um, no matter if it's a wedding, a funeral, a birthday event, I'm not buying anything new. Um, not only did I have enough already in my closet, but I kind of did a purging. Um, just to free up mental space mm -hmm. and from those dollars that I didn't attribute to just running in to the mall mm -hmm. or to Target or whatever it's in the third or shoe store or buying something online mm -hmm. I put that money back into exchange mm -hmm. so I had to do that personally for me and I don't tell everybody that they can um because that's hard it's very like, hard I don't, what since April yeah what I don't know now mind you you know you're going through seasons so if you've uh, yeah. grown or you can't wear old stuff mm -hmm. gotta figure just, out a way to make it work it's just something that I had to chalk up and then <laughs> um but my style is always comfort first. Okay. Then I look at, I'm a bigger guy. Mm -hmm. So plaids, I stay away from. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna get a whole lot of busy stripes um, and things of that nature. If I had like a paisley shirt, it's gonna be up under a blazer. Mm -hmm. um, but my style is like comfort, button up collars, mm -hmm. blazers. Um, besides that, you'll find me in Adidas jogging suits or <laughs> Nike tech suits or tennis shoes. It's it's one or the other. It's either I'm always good and ready to go for business or mm -hmm. I am chilling. Okay. Um, so that's my style. Wow, so the next question was gonna be, when was the, what was the last piece you bought? But oh, I remember. Was, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I remember so. the last um, piece that I bought in April uh -huh. was a blazer that okay. I wore for my birthday in May. Okay. Um, it's a wine blazer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like tuxedo cut mm -hmm. um, with the shiny lapels, but it's black and wine colored. And mm -hmm. I wanted it to wear um, to an event on my birthday in right. May. So that was the last thing I remember buying it. I, <laughs> shameless plug, I shop at Target a lot. Um, Target has a lot of clothes that people really don't understand, but if you finesse it and mm -hmm. you flip it and style it the right way, nobody will ever <laughs> know. From Target, okay. Oh yeah, just let this shirt come from Target. Just let yeah. you know exactly. So, I mean, I'm 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 about a bargain mm -hmm. um, For because sure. thread does not cost that much. It doesn't. Um, it's the store that houses it that wants to cost it that much, or the place that houses mm -hmm. it. So, um, I don't believe in breaking the bank for it. I agree. All right. So, is there someone? maybe celebrity or anyone that you know is in the public eye whose style that you i guess admire admire yeah like say um, if you were going on to an event and you were like let me get on instagram real quick i kind of want to see get an idea where would you go um ryan leslie mm, okay mm -hmm. ryan leslie he a lot of people don't realize it, but he kind of broke the chain on this kind of UK cut. Okay. Now, Ryan's very tall and slim, but the UK oversized distressed shirt type deal, he did years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, it's going to be simple, solid colors, probably dark, most likely black, mm -hmm. um, especially if I'm going somewhere. And it's going to be light, um, no matter how cold it is outside. Mm -hmm. It's going to be light and layered. That would kind of be my go-to. But Ryan Leslie's a big um, person that I look to. Um, can't think of another celebrity, but I go to a lot of. I'm gonna go to your J. Crew, your Gap, just mm -hmm. to see what kind of looks that they have, and um, ASOS and things like mm -hmm. that. Just mm -hmm. you know, kind of thumb through the thumbnail pictures and see what they got going on. But I'll say, like a celebrity, I really admire Ryan Leslie. Period. Okay. Um, musically, we connected first, and then you know, on to uh. All right, so before we end the interview, you know, I love to give kind of like fill in the blank questions just to give oh, yeah. the viewers kind of like an inside look at how you think and what, I guess what you would answer to the mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one, okay. I want exchange to be known for. I want exchange to be known for creating things. <laughs> okay. Simply said. Okay. Um, I don't know what all those things are but I really want it to be, when you see the name, you may know that it's attached to me. I don't know if it'll grow beyond me yet, but for right now, my ideas are kind of honed in where I am. Um, and I just want us to create some things, put some things in place that not only Charlotte hasn't seen, but anywhere. All right, so then the next one is, consulting is like. 
consulting. It's hard to box it up. I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you can give. You can give a few. Consulting is like consulting is like parenthood. Okay. Um, from the first time that somebody probably drops their kid off, and I don't have any kids, but I have a five guy kids, and I know the feeling that their parents have gone through. But consulting is like parenthood. Um, there's no one way to do it. Okay. Nobody has the book, no matter how many books they want to write about it. Mm -hmm. Nobody has the surefire way to get to it. Um, but it's about navigating what's comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. And it's about making sure the right partnerships and relationships that you have sustain your baby, which is your vision. Okay. Um, and if people aren't attributing to it, nine times out of ten, they're taken away from it mm -hmm. or they're copying you. Sure. So <laughs> just, just be very um, careful with your thoughts and ideas to share in safe places. Nice. So it's like parenthood. Like you can't share your kids with everybody. That's true. Not leaving kids with everybody. That's so true. that's why I say can't it's like everybody hold your kids. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you've heard it here first with none other than Corey Bennett from Charlotte, North Carolina, creative connector and founder of Exchange. You can follow him at Instagram at Exchange X C H A N G E N C. Okay. So Exchange N C on Instagram. Um the owner account is gonna be at Grizzly B G R I double X L Y but inquiries or anything as far as exchange exchange NC at outlook.com email um, most basic of ideas startup ideas things that are already in place you want to change please reach out well thank you so much till next time sending in this is the live endorsed by Chris feature with none other than blah blah That's <laughs> Let's do that again. Call it consulting, but it kind of is. Do. Okay, fine. Yeah, cool. All right. I'm not in that video. Okay. You have heard it here first with none other than Corey Bennett. Well, shit. What was I going to say?